uh, telephone number in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And within a half hour, mm -hmm. I was on the phone with him. Wow. Wow. The first time in over 48 years. Mm. And the first question he asked me, where in the hell is Waterford, Michigan? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He had took my address and got into the phone system mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and nobody knew where Waterford was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what had really happened, I think, mm -hmm. years back, mm -hmm. we had three post offices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had Pontiac, mm -hmm. Waterford, mm -hmm. and Drayton Plains. Mm -hmm. And I was Drayton Plains. Oh. Apparently, I was still in the phone system under Drayton Plains. Oh. So, in talking to him, mm -hmm. telling him what I had done to find these other three guys, mm -hmm. McAndrews I had misspelled, he had kept in contact with Don McAndrews. Oh, okay. So I found two out of the three. Oh, okay. I said to him, I said, uh, Walt, I would be willing, and, and going back to banking, he had went into banking right after he got out of the Army. Mm -hmm. He said, I went in the bottom door. My dad didn't think much of it. But he spent 42 years and went right up to be a CEO man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, I said to him, I'd be willing to make a trip to Chicago. He said, well, his wife had had breast cancer for 20 years. He said, uh, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Fourth of July of 98, mm -hmm. he said, would you come on over for a couple of days? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, sure, give me a little, uh, where are you at? Mm -hmm. Well, he said, I live in Palatine, Palatine, which is the northwest side of Chicago. Mm -hmm. So with what directions he give me, mm -hmm. I went to AAA, and I got a road map. Mm -hmm. I took 94 across, and what I took north, I don't know, mm -hmm. the road. When I went through the toll gate, mm -hmm. I asked a woman, would you tell me how far Highway 90 was, because he was off or lived off of 90, mm -hmm. and she said, 23 miles, mm -hmm. and he was off of 90. With the directions that man gave me, he walked me right in to his house. Mm -hmm. I went up, I rung the doorbell, and when he opened that door, well over 51 years that we had been. Mm -hmm. Not only did we knew we were going to stay with him, he said, bring your things in. We're going to put you right up in our bedroom. He gave away his bedroom mm -hmm. to us. They'd raised four or five kids. We never did see the kids. Mm -hmm. And that we stayed two days with him. The next day, <clears throat> Don McAndrews came over, and all of us had some pictures and that there. And uh, I have one here mm -hmm. uh, that was taken at Camp Roberts mm -hmm. of the uh, four, four of us into it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That guy mm -hmm. on the left, mm -hmm. is he was from Mason City, Iowa, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but that other is the four of us, oh, okay. and that there. Okay. See, can we get it on camera here a little bit? It'd be the four guys on the right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, well, I think we captured some of it on camera here. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Well, that's a pretty good reunion. Wow. Nice. Don McAndrew, we all had pictures mm -hmm. and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went out for supper that night. Mm -hmm. And uh, I spent two days there. Oh, okay. Fast forward to the wife and I's 50th anniversary. 
Now, in between, we have kept.